Hello traders, FS Pipcolati here. Today is Monday, August 21st, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the Aussie dollar, I'm still seeing this as three waves up and three waves down. Usually that means it's a WXY pattern and that it's going to lead to a three-way pattern to the upside to make what I think is an ABC of wave Y. So let's keep that in mind. Let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I think this first setting right here is a trend. Looks like an A of Y. I think this is an A, B, C, D, E. Most likely an A, B, C, D, E of way B. We are at the 78% level, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's over. I think it needs to at least make a 3, 4, 5 and a break of starts before we even think about starting to go long for a wave C of wave Y. Because especially with how weak the Aussie has been, this very easily could just keep on going down. And luckily, we're going to be looking for sorts on sort of time frames in a ways. So going down to the daily time frame, I mean, it still looks like one big giant trend. We are at the 78%, so you would think that would be an area for a pullback. But I definitely am not thinking that this trend is over. I think we at least need to see this safe right here before we even think about going long with a break of start to the upside. So taking it down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame it definitely looks like we're trying to make a correction right now. It looks like it pulls it up A. Looks like corrected down B. It kind of looks like it could go up again for a wave C. But I think it's going to make another lower high, lower high, lower high and just keep on trending down. Telling me that I am still primarily just looking for sorts on those sort of time frames. So let's take it right down to the 1 hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, to me, this looks like a trend. This looks like three ways down. I think this is impulsive up and corrective down. I think it is going to go up and make like a one, two, three, four, and five of wave C, probably at least up to the 78%, maybe even a little higher to finish off this potential wave C before it makes an impulsive move down, break structure, and it maybe, most likely at least, ends up continuing the downtrend. Which, like I said, this is exactly what I'm looking to see for my next entry to go sort for the continuation of that bigger downtrend trend on the much longer time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.